Praise God. Praise God. I pray that you're having a good morning. Um, you know, when I do a story, you know something wrong with it, right? Because um, I try to stay away from anything news related because they be lying sometimes. But wisdom and discernment. And, and I want to do a disclaimer. When I do stories like this, that's because something has shaken my spirit. Who shakes your spirit? God, right? So miss me with all that crazy commenting. You know, um, there is no agenda, but I'm going to expose the agenda furthermore. So, all right. So here we go. It says school apologizes after teacher painted fake bullet wound on black students face. Now, hold on. First of all, you know, they wouldn't let that up be allowed if it was another race. Let's just be honest. Y'all know what I'm saying. Caucasian. I'm just going to say it. So anyway, this is the bullet, fake bullet hole. First of all, I don't even understand why the teacher would even do that. Now, as you read, this happened in Birmingham, Alabama. Now, the mother of the seven-year-old, she was very, you know, when she he came home, she got upset. Like, who would do this? And as you read further, she said, it looks so real that it looked like something to happen. So she got upset. And so this is what happened. The teacher said that the teacher who put the makeup also spoke where she said he didn't think it was a real big deal. He, he's seven. What you mean? He said he did paint on different kids. But my thing is this. Why would you paint a bullet hole on a black kid knowing that they're killing black men? I, I'm just saying. Look, look at this. So the school actually apologized. It say school apologizes after teacher painted fake bullet wound on black students for hate. Uh, I, I just know, I, I think something, somebody should be reprimanded. I think that is, that's not acceptable. And we got to stop, you know, where is the NAACP when stuff like this happen? Because they think it's a small thing. No, this is a big thing. So basically, the mom showed a picture on her Facebook and that's what really got it some attention. But I don't know if you've heard of this story. It happened actually in October, but it was in Birmingham, Alabama. And the mother was Amon Jackson. Um... No, actually, I'm sorry. That's his name, Amon Jackson. And like I said, it's a fake bullet hole. And I'm going here. It's like we have to start being um, very, holding people accountable what they say and do to our children. It seems like black kids are being tar um, targeted more and more. And I don't know if y'all understand that. You know, we'll march about this or that or whatever, but it's time for us to truly, come on, you guys, we got to do something. We got to do something. That's all I can say. I'm so tired of it. I really am. It, it's not It's not acceptable to me anymore. It never was. Come on, somebody, hallelujah. So I'm just letting it be known that it's time for our voices to be heard in every area of judicial, government, school, whatever. Don't be scared now, you know, because and, and like like the teacher said, he didn't think it was a real big deal. This is what the teacher said. Okay, the teacher, the teacher who put up the makeup also spoke with herself. He didn't think it was a big, real big deal. How you do to your uh, another student? Then he was the only one. So, I just want you to be aware of what's going on out here. They are targeting people on purpose. They are trying to pit us against each other, and you already know. I just told you the signs of times. You know they want a race war. And unfortunately, it will be, it will happen. But what we need to do is we need to actually hold everybody accountable that do things like this. This is not acceptable. And so I just want to bring it to the forefront. Those that have not heard of the story, you can go and look it up. And the school did apologize, but no, you're right. He needs to be fired. And this is in Birmingham, Alabama. All right, you guys, God bless you. God keep you. And, um, you know, this poor child... Now, I don't know if y'all realize this is something he's going to have to um look back on because I promise you, you know, when he grows up, people going to remember this and that's not fair to him. You know, why would you even, <laughs> Lord have mercy. I, I, I'm i sorry. This one really did something to me. And you're right, Jacqueline. And I pray, I thank God that you said that you wrote that comment, honey. You guys, I don't care where you're in this world. Pray over your city. Pray over your youth. Pray, pray, pray. 
I know you don't think prayers work. I know things happen regardless because God is God. He allows what he allows. But it's praying time like never before. I don't know if y'all guys realize it. Let's cover our children. Let's cover each other. Let's love each other back to life. Quit bashing each other. Quit breaking each other's spirit. Our children, they're after our children. I don't know if y'all realize it. They're after this generation. And they're not playing, as you can see. And then they want to apologize. Apologize. I hope that mother's suing them. Yeah, I say what I say. No, that's unacceptable. Make sure they never do it again. All right. God bless you. God keep you. This is Apostle Deanna Dixon. Roll out soldiers, for that is who we are. God bless.